In this video, we're going to be talking about how to remove hotspots from portraits in Photoshop. So whenever you're taking a picture, especially with a flash without a softbox, you see harsh light on portraits, right? It's always better and I'm going to reiterate, it's always better to use a soft light on the spot to get rid of the harsh light. However, if you happen to have an image with very harsh lighting and very bright hotspots, maybe you didn't have a studio, maybe you didn't have a softbox, anything can be a reason. We're gonna learn how to get rid of this today in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. Welcome to Photoshop. So here we have an image. If you zoom in, there are a couple of hot spots that we have to get rid of because this is making the skin look oily. Guys, to be really honest, I have tried everything. Burning it, taking down the brightness slider uh, of that specific area, multiply blend mode and nothing actually seems to work. And the best thing to do here is to simply replace it. So the first thing that you might want to do, control or command J, make a copy of the background layer, always the first thing. Okay, now let's zoom in, lock in the hotspots. So make sure you select the patch tool and once you have the patch tool selected, make sure it's normal and select the hotspot okay now this is something that we might want to replace with say this area okay now this is completely gone and this looks unrealistic you can leave it here but what you can do control shift f or go to edit fade patch selection if you're using a mac command shift f okay click on it just after replacing it and you can decrease the opacity of the effect right from this slider okay now this is too much this is completely gone this is no effect at all and this is somewhere in between. There you go. This is undo on a slider. Okay. Click OK. Control D. Now, here's one more tip. Whenever you're replacing a hotspot, say this one. Okay. Suppose I'm replacing this hotspot by this area. Now, when you go to Control Shift F or Command Shift F if you're using a Mac and when you're trying on different opacities and this marching ants is kind of disturbing to you, what you can do, you can press Control or Command H. Now what happens is the marching ants is still there. It's still there somewhere, but it's hidden. If you press Control H again, it will become visible again. So what is H? What does H stands for? H stands for hide. So that's pretty much it. You can remember it. H for hide, Control H to hide the marching ants. Now you can try different opacities. Which one works for you the best? This is the hotspot there. You want to fade it. Okay, this works for me the best. Click OK. Now you have to press Control or Command D to get rid of those marching ants. Okay, so there you go. That's how you remove hotspots. So let's look at the before and after. Before, we see the shine there after gone right there's a little hot spot you might want to get rid of at the nose on the nose there you go control shift f okay there you go very minimal but leaves a massive impact for the photographer let's look at the before and after overall so this is the before this is the after there's a hot spot at the lips that we have to get rid of okay so let's get rid of it really quickly on the lips okay control shift f Okay, there we go. Now, that's it. That's pretty much it. So that's all for this video. That's how you reduce hotspots. Now, again, I'm going to say it again. It's best to diffuse the light on spot. Okay, if this video helped you, make sure to give us a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And not just subscribe, click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.